Here in the bending brake, we have a piece of polycarbonate, also known by the brand name Lexan. It is a clear plastic, and normally when plastics like this are bent, you would use heat. You would apply heat around the area of the bend, and then you would perform the bending operation. Here we have this piece of polycarbonate in this bending brake, and we will not be applying any heat. While polycarbonate looks like other clear plastics, like acrylic, which goes by the brand names uh, plexiglass and perspex, its properties are significantly different. Polycarbonate can be bent cold. It will not crack, it will not break in, uh, in the bending brake. However, it does have an enormous amount of spring back. So when we bend this, we'll bend it to 90 degrees, and then when we remove the bending pressure, it will spring back a large amount. This particular brake will only go to 90 degrees, and I want a 90 degree bend, so I will achieve it in two different bends. Most plastics, especially those that are clear, come with a film on both sides to protect it from scratches while you're transporting it, working with it, etc. When you buy sheets of plastic, if you're actually purchasing in person, you want to check this film to make sure there are no scratches or gouges in it, because in any scratch or gouge in the film may have gone through to the plastic underneath. And if you're hoping for a perfectly clean, clear sheet of plastic, that would be a problem. Also, you can leave the film on, in fact you should leave the film on during bending operations. So again, any scratches or things that may have uh, directly affected your plastic uh, affect the film instead. The film won't interfere with, with bends like this. You can bend it with the film on, the film will not cause a problem. It will peel away just fine when you're completed. The blue stripe that you see on the piece of polycarbonate is actually masking tape. I added it so that it would be easier for me to add marks onto the piece so that I could bend it correctly. I'm also about to notice that for the second bend, I positioned the clamps on top of the work, and so when, they, when the piece comes to bend back, the clamps are actually in the way, so I'm going to have to move those. Here are a few close-up shots of the bend.